Welcome to State Attack. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm going to show you how to enable restrictions. Open up settings, and we're going to come down into general, and then we're going to tap on restrictions down at the bottom. Here we can enable restrictions, and what this is going to allow us to do is actually limit the usage of some of the functions of our iPhone. So if this is a device that you're giving to your child, you might want to consider enabling some of these to make sure that they're being safe about their phone usage. So we're going to tap enable restrictions up at the top, and here we can enter in a four digit passcode. Make sure this is something that you can remember because you're not going to be able to come back in here and shut off restrictions unless you remember this passcode. So go ahead and enter whatever you would like to. I'll just enter then this example. And now we're able to allow or disallow applications. So for example, if I did not want CarPlay to be accessible, I'll just tap on that. And now CarPlay is no longer an option. If I didn't want Safari to show up, tap on that and Safari's gone. Now let's say I didn't want the camera being allowed. I can tap on that and the camera's going to be gone. You notice by turning off camera, it's automatically going to turn off FaceTime. Tap OK. And now those two options are shut off. We can keep coming down, we can turn off iTunes Store, Apple Music Connect, installing apps, deleting apps, and app purchases. And we can even rate the ratings for allowed content. So if I didn't want content to be explicit, tap on Music Podcast and iTunes, I can disable explicit content so that way they cannot purchase or listen to anything that's been marked explicit. For movies, TVs, books, apps, Siri, and websites, I can go ahead and enable those as well. So here in movies, I can set the top rating that I want movies for them to be able to purchase. So if I only wanted them to be able to purchase all the way up to PG-13, tap on PG-13, and now notice that rated R, NC-17, and all movies are in red. That lets me know that those movies will not be able to be purchased on this device. We have some privacy options, which we can change in here. So we can allow applications to access contacts, access our location services, sharing my location, Bluetooth, microphone, Twitter. We can change those. So if I come in to save, for example, contacts, here's all the applications that I've allowed access to my contacts. And I can allow changes or not allow changes. And I can even shut off applications from accessing the contacts. And that's going to disable them altogether. They will not be able to re-enable these options without coming into restrictions. And down below, we can allow changes to accounts, data usage, background app refresh, and even the volume limit. And then on Game Center, we can disallow adding of friends and multiplayer games. So we're going to come back up to the top, and here is the allow section. We shut off Safari, Camera, FaceTime, and CarPlay. So now if I come out to my home screen, you're going to notice down the dock, Safari is no longer there. And then the camera is no longer an option in the top right-hand corner of the screen. So I've shut those two options off. Now we're going to come back into our settings. We're back in the journal tab, and we're going to come into restrictions. Let's go ahead and enter in our passcode. And now I'm going to disable restrictions. This now takes everything that I shut off and re-enables it. Maybe you want them to have access to them again, or this is your device and you didn't really need restrictions on there in the first place. So now if I come home, you're going to notice down below, we now have camera, FaceTime, Safari's been added back to the dock, and everything is back the way that it should be. So that is how you enable restrictions on your iPhone. For more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.